I'll rise, focus, the future of your company depends on it. Step into the world of UFocus, the future of your company depends on it, by Al Rise, where the concept of focus is thrust into the limelight. This insightful book explains why market leaders like Coca-Cola triumph over their competitors, the secret lies in having a clear focus. The summary explores the problems that unfocused companies face and how a lack of expertise can hinder their growth and success. Dive into various growth strategies like line extension and diversification and learn the pitfalls of losing focus in the global market. This enlightening read will open your eyes to the importance of specialization and adapting to the ever-changing economy. Size doesn't guarantee value. The common assumption that larger companies possess greater value can be misleading. As we see with PepsiCo and Coca-Cola, a higher revenue doesn't necessarily correlate with a higher stock market value. This could be attributed to the lack of clear focus in larger companies. For instance, Coca-Cola concentrates solely on beverages, while PepsiCo spans across beverages, snacks, and fast food chains. Unfocused companies can be challenging to manage, which may lead to performance issues and limited success. Managers of such companies often lack sufficient expertise in each domain, making it difficult to operate effectively and achieve maximum results. Therefore, having a clear focus can be more valuable than simply being larger in size. Dilution Dangers in Expansion Managers often seek to grow their companies to harness the power of size, and there are multiple strategies to achieve this, such as line extension and diversification. Line extension, exemplified by Richard Branson's Virgin Group, involves expanding a brand into different products or services. Diversification, like Xerox's foray into financial services, entails branching out to unrelated markets or products. However, such expansion carries risks, as companies can lose focus and face increased competition, potentially damaging their growth in the long run. Globalization's Double-Edged Sword Today, both large and small companies are rarely confined to one national market, as they increasingly embrace globalization. The elimination of trade barriers by treaties such as GATT, NAFTA, and APEC has enabled companies to import and export globally at lower costs. While this presents fantastic opportunities, globalization also carries risks, such as companies losing focus when entering global markets. In an attempt to diversify, they might take on numerous competitors simultaneously, which can backfire due to the established presence of these competitors. A classic example is Olivetti, which experienced a decline in profitability after entering the global market. Although companies may excel in their home markets, this does not guarantee global success, leading some to argue that such companies should have remained within their local market boundaries. Refocus through specialization Companies often lose their focus due to diversification and extending their product range, ultimately hurting their success. To refocus and attract more customers, a company should narrow its focus by specializing in a specific product field. Consider the rise of specialty stores, which have consistently outperformed department stores with wide product ranges. By concentrating on a particular product or service, companies can garner more customer interest and boost their chances of success. When companies lose focus due to expanding their product range, the solution to regain success lies in doing the opposite, specializing in one product field. Specialized companies attract more customers than their diversified counterparts, with department stores like Bloomingdale's and Macy's facing bankruptcy as customers flock to specialty stores like Toys, R, Us. The strength of specialty stores point to the power of a narrow focus. Toys, R, Us, for instance, began as a children's furniture store called Children's Supermart. As founder Charles Lazarus added toys to the store, it only gained significant success once he dropped the furniture and focused solely on selling discount toys. It is through specialization, focusing on a single field, that companies can harness their full potential for success. Specialization drives success. When faced with a specific problem, people tend to seek out experts. This logic extends to the realm of business, 
where customers favor specialized companies as they believe those businesses can provide higher quality products than their unspecialized counterparts. As customers often lack the knowledge to discern product quality, they rely on expert recommendations to make informed purchasing decisions. A prime example of this phenomenon can be observed in the 1970s, when computer mainframe buyers sought out IBM, a leading specialist during that time. Ultimately, the perception of a high-quality product is crucial in swaying consumer decisions, as illustrated by the enduring popularity of Coca-Cola over its competitors. Companies specializing in certain fields enjoy the benefits of expert status, which contributes to their overall success and positive performance. Embrace change or fall behind. In a world where technology is constantly evolving, the economy shifts accordingly. Companies that refuse to adapt can find themselves in dire situations, shrinking in value and even becoming obsolete. For example, Kodak, once a market leader in analog photography, lost significant market share due to its reluctance to embrace digital technology. It is essential for businesses to pay attention to new technological developments and adjust their focus in order to remain successful in the ever-changing economic landscape. As everything around us changes, so does the economy. And these economic changes are largely influenced by advances in technology. Each new wave of technological innovations brings about new demands, causing previous technologies to be replaced. Rewind to two decades ago when photography mainly relied on analog technology. To snap a photo, you would need to purchase photographic film and have it developed at a lab enter the digital camera, a game changer. This technological breakthrough altered consumers' preferences and demands, pushing analog photography towards obsolescence. Businesses must adapt to changes in the economy or face being left behind. Kodak, a once $20 billion corporation, is a prime example of what happens when companies fail to keep up with the times. Under the leadership of CEO George Fisher in the 1990s, Kodak was confident in its stronghold on the analog photography market. Fisher firmly believed that digital photography wouldn't dethrone analog for many years, but history proved him wrong digital cameras quickly conquered the market. By 1995, Kodak's value had dropped to $13 billion. The reason? Photographic film sales plummeted, as consumers sought digital cameras that didn't need film. Kodak, with Fisher's unwavering commitment to analog, was among the last to market and sell digital cameras. This delay cost the company dearly and allowed other businesses to seize leadership positions in the digital photography market. The key takeaway? Companies must adapt to economic shifts by focusing on what the new economy demands. To avoid the same fate as Kodak, business leaders should vigilantly monitor technological advancements and adjust their corporate focus accordingly. Mastering the Multi-Step Focus Success in large conglomerates like General Electric and Dover Corporation is achieved by employing a multi-step focus approach. Instead of a single brand focus, they separate and target different customer segments for each of their markets, avoiding internal competition and maintaining profits. The transformation of General Motors under Alfred Sloan's leadership exemplifies the effectiveness of this strategy. Conglomerates like General Electric, GE, and Dover Corporation have proven that they can achieve outstanding performance despite handling multiple brands and markets simultaneously. GE's impressive $64.7 billion in sales and $4.7 billion in profits in 1993 earned them the fifth spot on that year's Fortune 500 list. Dover Corporation also found success with its 54 operating companies across more than 70 diverse businesses, ranking 361st on the same list. While these conglomerates lack a single market focus, they're still well-positioned because they've mastered the art of the multi-step focus. This approach involves separating their various markets, allowing them to target specific customer segments and avoid unhealthy internal competition. When executed correctly, this strategy safeguards profits and promotes overall success. General Motors, GM, offers a prime example of the benefits of a multi-step focus. Before 1921, GM was struggling with obscured boundaries between its seven brands, including Chevrolet and Cadillac. 
Unclear price ranges led to overlapping markets, causing internal competition and a subsequent decrease in profits. However, when Alfred Sloan took over as CEO, he transformed the company by establishing a multi-step focus. Sloan restructured GM by selecting five of its automotive brands, Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, and Cadillac, and setting clear distinctions between them. Each brand was assigned a specific price range, targeting unique customer segments and eliminating the problem of internal competition. The result was a dramatic increase in GM's profits, proving that the multi-step focus strategy can unlock extraordinary potential even in complex, diversified conglomerates. In conclusion, Alry's focus demonstrates the power of having a clear focus in a company's success. Unfocused companies struggle with management issues and face increased competition, thus diminishing their potential. Strategies like line extension and diversification may seem appealing, but they often lead to a loss of focus, harming the business in the long run. Instead, specializing in one product field attracts more customers and builds a reputation for expertise, leading to better company performance. Embracing new technology and adapting to economic changes are crucial in maintaining focus and staying ahead in a competitive market. Conglomerates can also achieve success by establishing a multi-step focus for each market they operate in, thereby avoiding internal competition.